Hi, my name is Sue and it's John behind the camera. The project that we've been working on is called Simply Cooking with Sue and that's exactly what it's about. I have taken recipes and simplified them so even a person that has never cooked before can actually make these recipes. It's about saving time and money and putting a great meal on the table for your family every night. One of the things that John and I, when we first started discussing doing this project, he was amazed when I told him I could take something as simple as chicken, cook it in the crock pot, and there's like 10 different recipes I can use out of that chicken that I cooked in the crock pot. Say, for example, on Monday you use the shredded chicken. We well, don't want to come back on Tuesday, but maybe on Wednesday you can take that chicken and make, say, tacos with it, or you could do a barbecued chicken sandwich, or you could do chicken enchiladas. Um, there's so many different things that you could do with that one simple recipe. People always ask me if I'm a gourmet cook and I am so far from a gourmet cook. When you watch, nothing I do is perfect and that's what's fun about it. I also work on when I plate things up. I always have a little garnish. It's not necessary, but I like to garnish. I like to make sure when someone sits down that their plate looks really good. One of the tips that my dad gave me was white plates, and it really does make the food look better. If you have a plate that has a bunch of patterns on it, the, the food doesn't look as appealing. So I love garnishes. I love, the only thing about me that's Martha Stewart is you know I love a herb garden. So I go out there and pick some fresh herbs and I don't know if that's what it is because you have fresh herbs on the place so people just assume. But um, an herb garden is so easy to grow and that's one of the things that I'll be showing you. You know, no one really taught me how to cook. My mom is a really good cook, and we really never went in the kitchen with her, but she always put a great meal on the table every day. I think I started learning when I worked for the catering company, and the recipes were pretty complicated, and that is just not me. I am a new drama kind of gal. So I started thinking, how could I make this taste good and look good? but take away a lot of the steps because I found the thing that people hated about cooking is it just took so long. I was a national marketing director and doing that job, it makes you really take a look at what are the needs that are out there. And what I found is one of the needs are we're getting away from cooking in the kitchen. We've gone to so much fast food. And so that's why I've come up with simple recipes that you can really execute and that your family will enjoy. And it's also about saving time and money. And it's all about simplifying your life, making it easier on yourself. You know, dinner time for me has changed drastically, and I don't know if you can relate to this, but I'm divorced now. I was married to a football coach, so dinner time was always every night around the table. So it's Ali and I now, so what I try to do is make it special. So we use candles, we'll have um, our drink and champagne flutes, anything about making it special and slowing it down so you're just not gobbling it up. When you have kids, when you're sitting around the dinner table, I'll tell you, that's when you find the most interesting things out, but it's also the time when you have the most fun, the best stories, and great memories. I have three kids, two sons and a daughter. My sons are out of the house, but my daughter, boy, she keeps me hopping. She is in basketball, she's in softball, we're always at some tournament, but I'll tell you, I so enjoy her. I just, we have so much fun together and even in the kitchen. Ali really isn't one for cooking but it's funny when we're in the kitchen and just talking all of a sudden you know she'll pick up a knife and she'll start cooking and when she makes something actually herself she gets the biggest grin on her face and oh she so enjoys it. My favorite dish to eat is pretty much anything with chocolate in it. <laughs> no, I like, you know what, I like pretty much anything. I enjoy food. I enjoy the process of putting it together. So it's really about, there's certain herbs that I like, like Ali and I love fresh basil, so I tend to cook with a lot of fresh basil. We love garlic, so um, there, you'll find when you start cooking, 
You know, people say that you have to know all the spices. You don't. Find the spices that you like, and those are the ones to cook with. If you're entertaining and you really love garlic, you might want to pull back on the garlic just a little bit because not everyone likes that much garlic, or if you like something really spicy. Um, but if it's what your family enjoys, that's how you cook. You put in the ingredients that you like. You know, one of my favorite questions is someone started cooking and all of a sudden now they want to have their friends over for dinner. So the first thing you establish is how many people are going to be there. And that will determine if you're going to have a sit down or you're going to have a buffet. The next thing you want to take a look at is do a simple menu. So what are the things that you want? You know you want a salad. You know you want a vegetable. You want your main course, a bread, and a dessert. So the first thing I would suggest is let's figure out a menu that you can do in the crock pot. For example, if you were doing spaghetti, your sauce is already done. All you have to do is cook up the pasta when your guests get there. You can do a nice Caesar salad, which is very simple, some garlic bread. You don't even need to do a vegetable with that one with spaghetti sauce. And then do some kind of simple dessert. You could do fresh fruit. Um, with some ice cream or I have many different recipes for desserts, but that's what it's about Make it simple so you're able to enjoy your guests and they will be able to enjoy you not looking at you getting up and down in the kitchen all the time Well, I hope you're able to utilize some of the recipes that you've seen and make sure you tell your friends about us and subscribe to our YouTube channel and simplycookingwithsue.com. Write with any questions you have or any success stories because we love to hear from you.